day 434 of quarantine and probably like day 433 of building this door it feels like right now. <laughs> Let's get this sucker done today. But first, I gotta make some coffee. just one thing left that we gotta get out of our system before we can start working today. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? No stretching today? Okay, no stretching today. <laughs> Let's get to work! So Kayla sends me into Menards by myself and says, straight in and out. What? <laughs> I never heard of that before in my life. Little does she know, I got a little something extra. <laughs> It was very good boards. Oh, board. <laughs> I, I know it's more expensive, but we're talking two boards here. 60 bucks. For two boards? <laughs> yeah, was I may have included something extra. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. We got our extension. Hold on. They should not be going anywhere. What we gotta do is we're going to sand everything flush and flat, um, get the hand planer out if we have to, take the router back out, router the edges so everything's rounded off again, and then from there, see if we can get this sucker hung up. All right, so here's where we're at. I'm not only gonna show you the good side of this table, I'm gonna show you everything. Full disclosure, the good and the bad. Well, the back side's kind of the ugly side, but it's not as bad as what I thought it was gonna be. First of all, Nick, why the heck do you have two sets of pocket screws in here? Well, that's easy. I drilled one the wrong way last night. <laughs> I got to work in a little bit too late. I was tired and just wasn't thinking straight. Luckily, it's the backside. No one's gonna see it. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. I seriously thought this was gonna look a lot worse than what it does. And again, this is the backside right now. Nobody's gonna see this. Once we get the stain and finish everything on there, that it kind of blends everything together and you don't even notice much. So now, I think I'm gonna put this on hold right now. We're gonna go up into the baby's room get Kayla and see if we could tackle putting up this rail. Here goes nothing. Okay, the hits just keep coming with this one. So we ran into another problem. You know, as we're getting everything set up, last time I checked, pretty common building practice is Studs are marked 16 inches on center. Well, for an eight foot rod, they decided five holes was enough, and they're gonna put them at about 22 inches on center for every space. So I just really love to know what genius came up with this design that said, yeah, that looks good. Now why? I have no freaking clue. So rather than mounting our rail directly above the closet like planned, we're gonna have to run a header above there so that we can mount this to it. It's either that, return it, and buy like my third rail, which I really don't wanna do. Or the other option is to re-drill these holes. I don't have a drill press and I am not gonna mess with that. So header it is. So Kayla and I are gonna go down, we're gonna start staining the door, we're gonna start staining that header. And then hopefully, I mean, it's not going to get 
hung up today, which I was really hoping we could at least do a dry fit of it. But, is what it is. At least we can still keep working. Okay, this is where things get a little scary. Now's when we find out if we get the wife's approval. Because if she doesn't approve, guess what? Ain't happening. Let's find out. Right away. I'm okay to talk, right? You're not gonna. Emily, I need to know what your thoughts are, okay? I think I like it. I don't know. No, I do like it. Okay, so we got that. The wall over there. Yep. It's gonna have to work. So I forgot to start recording, but we'll pick up from here. Folks, we got a header hanging up there. Now, Kayla just asked a very important question. It looks nice, but does it seem like it'll hang a door? That's what we're about to find out. Okay, so here's my thoughts, end disclosure, full review. <laughs> we have a barn door hanging in the room. That's what we were looking to accomplish. <laughs> Part of me can only help but laugh about it, just because of the fact of how many roadblocks I came across, and how many were still... Let me just show you. The spacers, Caleb was really concerned about how much further they're going to be sticking out because we had to hang a header board. So I said, well, I'll flip it over so that the bigger end is towards here. Not thinking that when the wheels roll across it, you got a little bit of a bump. The other piece of it is I had a level out at least 20 times when hanging this sucker up trying to get it perfectly level. Did we get it level? Nope. <laughs> So as soon as you pull it over that hump, you know, it just... I like to think of it more as a self-closing type door. <laughs> Final thoughts. It's not my opinion that matters, trust me. It's hers. What are your final thoughts? I like it. <laughs> she's, so she still likes it. That's all that matters. Well, we will probably redo this one in the future, but... I was really happy to give a true DIY experience on building a barn door. So I've had fun with it. I hope you guys had fun. Till next time, maybe we'll pick a project a little less complicated. <laughs>
Well, it took me one day with that dang door, with going over the bumps and it not being level, and I had it. I can't deal with it anymore. So we made the fixes. A couple other pieces came in as well that we ordered, and I wanna show you that we added to it, and we're done. So as you can see, we added on a shiny new handle right there. Really proud of that one. And then secondly, highly recommend this if you're building a sliding barn door, get some sort of guide. Don't use the little plastic piece that comes in there. And as you, look at this, look at this. Whoa, man, like butter, woo! So we are officially fixed. So if you guys are still watching this, thank you. I appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next project.